welcome to this session of web designing with html so in this particular session we are going to discuss what is html what are various html tags and how to write a program in html now begin with the html so html it is nothing but hypertext markup language this particular language so it is used to describe the structure of website so all the websites having html as a basic part and this is used to describe the structure of website means how the website will be where which element will be uh, drawn which are the elements to be added where will be the paragraph where will be the uh, heading then uh, where will be the image audio video or uh, means how you can draw it or manage it uh, that is described with the help of html then this is a basic backbone of any web website without html you cannot design the website it is a basic backbone of the website now in case of html the elements of html are represented as a tags so whatever elements means there are many elements in html like i have told there may be header there may be a paragraph there may be a link there may be image maybe table maybe a, a list those are represented with the help of tags so everything having a tag now normal structure of html page so this is the normal structure of html page so each html page will begin with the html tag so this is the html tag and this page must be ended with the html this is the closing tag and this is opening tag so html it is opening tag and this is closing tag so opening tag will have uh, the uh, less than sign then html and then greater than sign and in case of closing there is the forward slash so this is a closing tag and this is called as the opening tag so html tag then after html tag there is a head and body there is a head and body so head will be represented with the head tag and body will be represented with the body tag so head this first head it is the opening tag and this is the closing tag of the head as well as body having this is the opening tag and this body this tag is nothing but the closing tag and whatever content of html like if you want to add paragraph if you want to add list if you want to add elements you have to write inside the body tag so whatever written inside the body tag that will be displayed on the the page that will be displayed on the page now in case of head tag or in head whatever written inside the head it will not be displayed it will not be displayed but in case of body whatever content you want to display that must be written in the body so now what is meant by html tags so elements as i have told the elements are called as tags so they are represented as the tag name uh, there are multiple elements like uh, there may be paragraph or heading then there may be list so each having a tag so it has opening tag and closing tag and the content should be written in between so the tags follows the normal structure like a tag name this is opening tag then content should be written inside that uh, opening and closing tag and this is a closing tag so opening tag don't opening tag doesn't have the forward slash but in case of closing tag there is a forward slash so it must be written inside the opening and closing tag now if you want to write a program if you want to write html program so where you can write the program so there is a notepad available in our computer we can use the notepad for writing a program and after writing a program you have to save that program with the help of name of the program dot html extension so you must store that program with html extension and if you open that program with the help of any browser if you open that program in any browser then you will see the content written in that program will be displayed as a page displayed as a page so this is nothing but a text editor and browser so we can use notepad to write html code simple uh, notepad is available in our computer so we can use notepad to write html code and if i want to run this program html code in a web then you can use the browsers any browser you can use google chrome firefox internet explorer any browser you can use 
So for writing purpose, you have to use the notepad. I mean, it is a simple requirement what I am telling. And in case of running the program HTML code, you have to, you must have, you have to open in the Google Chrome or Firefox or any browser, it will work. Now, this is the first program and output. It is written in a notepad. You can see here this program is written and output is like this. Here output is hi welcome to my channel and this is the first HTML program. So this is the output that we want to describe. Now we will write a program first program in HTML. I will open the new notepad a new file text document and I will save this as suppose my first program first dot HTML. Once you click outside it will ask if you change the file extension the file might uh, or file might become unusable so you have to change it right click on a yes so this is the first html this is the file uh, i have opened with the notepad and name of the file is first.html now how to write the html code so you must follow the basic structure it has the html html this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag so closing tag html then there will be head tag and the body tag so head head and then closing of the head this is the closing tag of the head then we will have the body this is the closing body tag okay after having all those this is the head tag this is the body tag correct and html is complete container now the body tag we have to write a first program i have to display some text then in case of html there is a heading tag so h1 there is a h1 tag that is the heading tag so i will give heading that my first program okay my first program my first program and you must close this html tag that is h1 so this is a header tag header uh, this is the opening tag h h1 and this is the closing tag and whatever content i want to display that must be written inside the tag then this is heading after heading what we have we have the paragraph so i will use the paragraph tag so paragraph tag and there is a closing paragraph tag and in between opening and closing i will write the content so hi i am writing writing my first first html code which will work in browser okay so that is i have written uh, this is the head tag and i have used paragraph tag now you can save this file and save after saving this just this is the first html open with file open with google chrome click on this now here you can see what is displayed my first program and it is displaying this is the paragraph below the heading hi i am writing my first html code which will be which will work in the browser now if you open this code if you open this code now compare this code with this program see nothing is displayed except those content this is the first as a head this is the hi i am writing my first html as a paragraph here it is not showing what is the tag h1 p there is a con it is displaying only the content it is displaying only the content so it is a header tag where my first program is the heading and i have used the paragraph tag again you can use multiple headings if suppose i am using another heading as my second program okay second program and then close this h1 and write down again i will use the paragraph p and here i will write i understood how to write html code okay now save this you can save this and just refresh it you will see that this is the heading first heading this is the paragraph this is the second heading this is the paragraph so such type of program you have to write in the html and it is very simple it is very simple to write where you are writing you are writing in the notepad 
and the basic thing is html tag then there is a head and a body tag and whatever written inside the body that will be displayed so you have to use some tags like header tag you will have the paragraph tag and other tags so that will learn we will learn one by one so this is my first program that i have written after writing the first program and the output now we'll discuss various tags so html first we'll discuss html header and paragraph tag that we have used in the program now we will discuss it now the header tag there are many types of headers there are many types of headers those are the levels of the headers there is a h1 header h2 header h3 header h4 header h5 header h6 header so always for the paragraph we are having some heading heading and then there will be content then heading then content and inside the heading there will be subheading right so this is such type of uh, hierarchy we have so h1 will have highest uh, means you can say font or size then h2 having less than that h3 having less than that size so h1 will be like a main heading if i am using h1 as a main heading i can use h2 as a subheading then i can use h3 as a sub subheading so such type of headers we can use so there are six types of head header or six types of header tag in the html like h1 h2 h3 h4 and h5 h6 now paragraph tag we have used that paragraph tag paragraph tag having the tag as a, a p and opening tag as a p and closing tag as a slash p and inside the paragraph tag we can write the content and that content will be displayed as it is as a paragraph of that particular or as a paragraph the simple first html first tag will be html then this should be closing tag as html then there will be head head then closing head and then there will be body and the closing of the body so this is a basic structure always you have to follow now inside the body what we will do we will use the various header tags i will use first of all h1 tag h1 tag and i will write the content inside this h1 suppose h1 is this is h1 tag okay this is h1 tag now i'll copy this and i will show you what is the difference between the size of various headers i will use all the headers so there are six headers so i can use this is h2 suppose this is h3 this is h4 this is h5 this is h6 and similarly you can replace it is h2 h3 h4 h5 and last it is h6 now i'll save this program save it and i will open this with the browser open with the google chrome now here you will see this header this is the h1 header which having highest size this is h2 tag so we will uh, change it suppose it is h2 tag it is h3 tag it is h4 h5 and this is h6 now save this and run or refresh it again so see the see here this header having the highest uh, what you can say size h2 having less than that h3 having less than that h4 having less than that and h6 having the smallest size so this will be used as a header head header heading and below that you can write some content now we'll see how to write this i will use some content below that heading so if suppose it is paragraph tag i am using paragraph tag slash p and i will write some content hi this is heading 1 paragraph okay this is heading 1 paragraph you can save this save it you can copy this below h2 also you can write then below h3 also you can write and below h4 also you can write h5 you can write h6 you can write now here uh, okay i will save this and i will run this now see this is h1 tag this is heading now there is a content this is heading content heading content heading content now 
this can be used as a main heading this can be used as a subheading below this this can be used sub sub heading then this can be a sub 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 heading so such type of structure you can follow such type of structure you can follow how you can follow this if suppose i am writing this as one okay and this i will write 1.1 1 .1. then uh, this i will write 1.1.1 1 .1 .1. and this i will write 1.1.1.1 so such type of uh, structure hierarchy you can uh, use see this is heading heading 2 heading 3 so you can write one below so whenever you are referring any book so in that book there is a heading then below there is a subheading then uh, content having different types of heading so this is the hierarchy uh, what we have in the html also so there are six tags in html you can use the heading tag as per your requirement and the paragraph tag the whatever content you want to write that can be written in the paragraph now we'll move towards the next tag that is html links now what is meant by html link so links in the web page are used to redirect to other web page many means all the websites having the links means whenever we are clicking if suppose i am uh, having the google uh, uh, search engine and i am typing some uh, query into the google search then there are multiple search available so i am clicking on one link and that will redirect you to the particular web page or particular website so that is nothing but what it is redirecting to the web page or website so there we are using the links so links are used to redirect to the other web page now html links are also called as hyperlinks the html links are also called as hyperlinks so this is the tag for adding the link how the tag is there is a a tag it is anchor tag then you have to Uh, provide href that is the property or uh, href is equal to you have to give the web page link then you can write the text and this is the closing tag so i will use the h1 tag suppose i want to go to google and this is h1 now i want to redirect from this page to the google website to the google website so i will write how a anchor tag then i will write href close you can close this particular first tag then you have the closing tag a so this is the closing tag now where we have to click so you can write here as a click here so if you click here if you click on this click here it will redirect you to the google.com so we'll save this and we'll see whether it works or not so this is the program uh, for the link i have written the link for google now i'll open this program with chrome google chrome now see here google is the heading and here is the link and you are finding the blue color this is a link this is called as hyperlink if you click over the click here it will redirect to the google.com now you can see there is no internet i will start the internet now i have started the internet now click on the click here it will take you to the google.com so this is nothing but how you can have the links or how you can have the hyperlinks where you can redirect from one page to other page one website to the other website now after having the html links now we'll move towards how to add images into html page suppose i want to add some image into the html page now what is the use of images images are improving the appearance of the website how you can add the images into html page so there is a tag called image tag we have to use this image tag and you have to provide the source file means the image file address into source and there is the alternate alt where you have to give the alternate text now now we'll add some image into the uh, web page now suppose this is a web uh, one page i have written the code now i want to add the image so i will use img img tag image then you have to give the source source is equal to now this is nothing but the path of the image now as i have stored the header.html in the webtech folder and in the same folder if i am having the add image this is the image in the same folder then just add name of the image just add name of the image if suppose image is somewhere else then you must uh, gives a whole path complete path 
including all the folders and the name of the image so add image dot png png now after that give alternate this is alternate one uh, what you can say attribute this is nothing but alternate text if suppose i am not specifying anything if i am not specifying anything we will see what happens with this suppose image uh, source is given add image png i can save this you can save it and just refresh it now see this image is added this image is added correct this image is added now suppose by mistake i have written the wrong name of the image wrong name of the image if i save this okay. here this image is uh, shown there is no image this is icon it is showing now what is the use of our alternate attribute alt it will give, whenever if suppose the image is not available it will show the alternate text it will show the message what message image not found okay image not found so if the image is not available if the image uh, or path is not correct and if you run this then if image is not found it will display image not found so i will save this save this and i will refresh it now see image not found correct image not found so i will remove this and once again i will save it and run it image not found if suppose there is no image then it will show you image not found but if image is available in that case it will not uh, display the image not found it will display the image so that is nothing but use of alternate alt attribute and what is the use of source attribute so you can run this so this is the image available now this image is so big correct and it is not a uh, fixed or uh, you can say it is not fitting into the uh, web page so you can adjust the size of the image you can adjust the width as well as you can adjust the height so how you can adjust you can add few more attributes here you can add you can add width attribute width is equal to suppose uh, it is 200 and there is a height height is equal to uh, 300 uh, suppose it is 200 and width is 300 so you can restrict the size of the image you can uh, properly align the image by having the width and height now i will uh, show you i will save this i will run it again now here you can see the image is properly or as per your requirement as per the size of the web page you can adjust the image now suppose if the image is so small you can have 600 by 500 or you can have the 600 by 400 now refresh it once again save it and run it now the image size is increased so actual image size will be so larger but you can uh, fix the image size you can adjust the image size by using uh, width and height properties so those are the attributes you can give width and you can give the height to restrict the size of the image now i think you have understood what is the use of source the source will give uh, in the source you have to provide the address of the image in alternate attribute you have to give the text if image is not found then the text will be displayed you can resize the image by using width and height attributes so that is all about the image tag now in this case in case of image you will find only the opening tag there is no closing tag right in case of image there is no closing tag now after creating after adding the image next is how to create a list in a html so there are two types of list in html now first of all what is a list so list is nothing but it is used for grouping set of related items so list we are preparing a list and that is nothing but a grouping set of related items so there are two types of list one is unordered list and another is ordered list now what is the example of unordered list unordered means the numbering is not given like first year second year third year fourth year here numbering is not uh, written in front of the list so this is the unordered list and if you want ordered list in case of ordered list there is a numbering one two three four five means it should be first element first value this one second is this one third is this one and you are giving the values one two three four so this is called as 
ordered list this is called as unordered list now for creating unordered list you have to use two tags one is this is a ul tag this is a closing ul and this is a list li and this is a element for this is for element and in case of ordered list instead of ul you have to use ol that is nothing but ordered list and this is nothing but list element now we'll create the unordered list and ordered list by using the notepad now i'll remove this complete program okay now in the body tag i have to write this now first of all i will give the heading h1 is suppose unordered ordered list unordered list now i will close this h1 tag now what are the elements suppose first year second year third year are the elements so the element are the part of our unordered list so first of all declare the unordered list tag that is ul and there is a closing ul so this is the closing ul and inside that tag use the list elements so what is the tag li is the tag what is the first this is a first year first year then closing of list li list element now second you can just copy and paste it to c control v then you can paste it and just change this is a second year second year this is the third year third year and this is the final year final year okay so this is nothing but how you can create the unordered list now you can refresh it i will refresh it now see here you are finding the unordered list with the dots in front of the list or in front of the element of the list so this is called as unordered list now what is the method to create ordered list instead of using ul tag just use ol tag so you can copy this and you can create the ordered list so i am using h1 tag suppose ordered ordered list and close the h1 tag now you can just control paste and instead of uh, ul you have to just type ol this is for ordered list ol for ordered list this is opening and this is a closing now save it and refresh it now see it is the unordered list where the numbering is not available and this is the ordered list where numbering is available only difference between unordered and ordered list declaration is in unordered list you have to use ul tag and in case of order list you have to use ol tag so that tag we have seen like ol tag and ul tag and the list items are same means li tag is same for both while creating an order list or in creating order list to create table in html now what is the table table means tables normally tables are used to represent the data in a rows and column format so table will have rows and columns and data will be stored in terms of rows and column format so that is nothing but table now for creating a table we have to use a table tag so those are the tags which are required to create a table like a table tag then a th that is a header tag this is a tr means row and this is a td means element data this is data so four tags we have to use in case of creating html uh, table now suppose this is a table and there are four columns and four rows first column is id f name first name last name class then the id one is sanmesh rao and class is third and then second is arjun pandit and class is first and id three having the name f name as a raj last name aryan and class is second so now i will create the table uh, in html now open the notepad so this is the uh, notepad and where i am going to write a program for the table now there will be html tag then head and body so inside the body i will write the table or i will write the code for the table so i will have the h1 tag and i will write table table okay and closing of the h1 this is a heading i have given as a table now in case of table uh, table creation so there are four tags we have to use first will be table tag then th tr and td now first of all use the table table tag opening and the closing table now inside the table tag 
there will be heading uh, means first row second row third row fourth row so for creation of the rows you have to use th tag or sorry tr tag for creation of the rows you have to use tr tag and there will be closing of the tr tag and inside the row there are the elements so the first row is the heading row so that data must be uh, written in the th tag so that is heading and closing of heading now what is the first heading it is the id is the first heading then you can copy this th and you can paste four times three times and okay now what is the second heading the first name first name f name then next heading is last name l name and last it is the class okay after creation of the first row you can create the remaining rows which having the values so for creation of the rows other rows you have to use tr tag this is a row and the closing of tr and inside this tr this is a second row you have to use td tag for data td for data now what is the first id is this id is 1 then you can use this four times so you will paste it again paste it again paste it what is the first name if suppose raj is the first name last name is aryan and last class is his class is third okay now similarly you can copy this you can create multiple rows by typing the same code so that you just copy it and paste it and the modify it so the second name is suppose amit amit arya and the class is suppose second second then same you can create one more row just paste it then this third name of the person is anil then surname is yadav then he is from the first class first class now you can save this you can save this and you can run it save it then so this is a file header so uh, the name of the program is header so you can open it in the google chrome now see the table is created with id f name last name class and you can you can find the first row is bold because it is heading and other rows are not bold because those are the data so by using the table tag th tag td tag and tr tag you can create a table so you can add multiple rows you can add multiple columns so that is about how you can create the table